Hello everyone, welcome back and today is the day we talk about the third night of G1 Climax because I've just watched night 3 and I want to do a review video give you my opinion about G1 Climax yeah, I'm watching down because I have the card on my phone uh, with the results because I can't remember the results on my mind uh, because I'm stupid uh, <coughs> so the third night of G1 Climax. It was an interesting night because it was uh, a step down from night one and night two. In fact, the first three matches were basically so and so. It, they were they weren't that good. They were slow, uh, and they didn't hit me with a banger, so those matches were disappointing, but still better than, uh, yeah, matches from other companies like WWE, uh, NXT, TNA, uh, AEW, whatever, still better than those matches, even though, though these matches were disappointing. So, uh, of course, we started the night with uh, the Young Lions uh, match, which of course was Gabriel Kidd with Yuya Uemura, and Gabriel Kidd won. And yeah, I'm not gonna say anything else about this match. It was a Young Lions match, so yeah, this is it. And then the third night started for real with Jeff Cobb versus Shingo Takagi. This match was slow-paced, methodical, they hit a lot of great moves, but I was really disappointed. I was expecting more from Shingo Takagi and Jeff Cobb, uh, but of course they had only 10, match, 10, 10 minutes, so they couldn't have done way more than what they did. But this match was stu was structured in a way that it was slow paced and yeah, it wasn't that fast New Japan wrestling match. It was uh, it wasn't like uh, Suzuki Ishi that was hit hard hitting or like uh, Ibushi Okada Naito uh, Tanahashi. It was slow paced and methodical, but it was disappointing. And in the end, Jeff Cobb won and gained his first two points in the G1 Climax this year. And he won with the, the Tour of the Islands. And that was it. And then we had Kazuchika Okada versus Yujiro Takahashi. And I have to say something about this match. This match wasn't bad, but it wasn't on the standards of Kazuchika Okada. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with Okada, but he is not in his best shape, probably. He's not on his best, uh, at his best. He's not at his best. Is probably he's, I don't know, tired, whatever. He's not delivering great matches like he used to. And that is something I don't like, but I think he wants to slow it down a little bit. And maybe this is why, but yeah, um, I'm not feeling Okada this way. I feel like uh, he has stepped down from what he did and it, it isn't working for him. But no matter what, uh, he won with the Cobra Clutch, this new finisher, instead of the Rainmaker, and in 12 minutes. So Okada gains, obtains the first two points of his match, of, of the this tournament, sorry guys. Then we had Tai Chi versus Minoru Suzuki. This match was different. This match started as a street fight, and they... Basically knocked down 
knocked, yeah, they knocked, they knocked down the referee multiple times and they were starting, well, they were fighting on the outside with chairs and yeah. So basically this was a street fight for a long part and then it turned, it turned into a wrestling match and it was fun for what it was. Uh, but it wasn't the best match I've seen. And in the end, Taichi surprisingly won against Suzuki. And so Taichi is at 4 right now, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yeah, Taichi is at 4. Then we had the two matches, the two final matches, that of course were matches of the night, both of them, and this is where I felt this uh, uh, card being G1 Climax, Night 3 being G1 Climax. Before these two matches, it didn't feel like G1 Climax, and we had as a fourth match Will Ospreay versus Tomohiro Ishii, and this match was best match of the night. It was fantastic and I love the chemistry Will Osprey and Tomohiro Ishii have and this match was hard hitting, uh, was fast paced, slow paced, everything. It, has ev it had everything in it and in the end Will Osprey won after he hit uh, Ishii with the Stormbreaker, and so Will Ospreay is now at 4 points in the G1 Climax, like Taichi in the 8 block. And yeah, this match went 18 minutes and 20 seconds, and it was a great, phenomenal match. If you don't want to watch everything, or, or every single match in the G1 Climax, go watch Will Ospreay versus Tomohiro Ishii. You won't regret it. And then we had the main event. Second match of the night. Uh, it was Jay White versus Kota Ibushi. A rematch from uh, Wrestle Kingdom 14, actually. Uh, second night of Wrestle Kingdom 14. And this time, Jay White won after 20 minutes of a great match. I loved how... Jay White and Kota, and Kota Ibushi uh, work together. I love how Jay White is a fantastic heel. He was teasing the crowd, uh, making fun of the crowd because they clapped for everything. And he was like uh, making fun of them, saying that they are robots, they clap for everything. And he was start clapping and the, and the crowd was, start, was uh, clapping as well. So he made a point. <laughs> And yeah, after 20 minutes of a great, great match, Jay White won. So now Jay White with Will Osprey in Tai Chi is at four. And so they are the leaders of a block for now. And yeah, in the end, uh, Jay White at the end of the show cut a promo saying that the crowd is stupid. Kota Ibushi is stupid. Everyone, oh, everyone else in the in the locker room is stupid. No one is like him. And he talked about uh, uh, Okada and the match they're gonna have next week, saying that they are gonna relive the moment they made two years ago. That uh, was the mo best moment in pro wrestling. Jay White say said. And yeah, he got a promo about that, and yeah, that was it. Basically, uh, now we have in block A, we have Jay White, uh, Taichi, and Will Osprey with four points, Kota Ibushi and Suzuki with two points, Okada and Jeff Cobb with two points, and then we have Ishii, Takashi, and Takagi with zero points. So yeah, the leaders are. Osprey, Taichi, and Jay White. And this is great. I was right saying that Jay White is gonna win for the moment. 
and I believe he's gonna win everything and I will not regret what I said so yeah for night three this is basically everything I I have to say I don't have a to say anything else it was a nice fast review opinion and yeah this was it but before I salute you I want you to remember to subscribe to me to hit the notification bell and because this way uh, well you will have a notification when I upload the video and yeah give a comment and tell me your opinion about night 3 and G1 Climax 30 as uh, as a whole for right now and uh, yeah did you did you enjoy night 3 night 1 night 2 tell me everything you have to say in the comments and this is it so thank you guys for watching i see you tomorrow probably because tonight to, yeah today there is night 4 well i'm going to watch it today it was this morning but yeah i'm in italy so it comes a little bit later so yeah uh, I'm gonna watch it tonight, probably, and tomorrow I'm gonna make a video about Night 4. So thank you guys for watching, that's it. Bye bye.